Yo guys, what's going on? Welcome to a FIFA 22 Community Sniping Reactions video. Today, we have got episode 8 in this series. Ultimate Champions have just launched their beta. Build your squad to take part in game weeks and earn unique items. You can also join my personal league to compete against other members of the community. So check out my sponsor, Ultimate Champions, by clicking the link in the description. Now, of course, if you guys enjoyed the video, drop a like. Let's see if can hit 500 ratings and do subscribe to the channel if you want you. Additionally, um, there will always be links in the description down below to all of the original posts. Make sure to go check them out. And I guess if you guys want to feature in future episodes, then uh, you can also find links to my socials in the description down below as well. Go ahead, tweet me either a image or a video of your best trade on Ultimate Team to potentially feature in future videos. Anyway though lads, let's jump into the first snipe of today's episode. Right then lads, for the first snipe of the video, we have got an insane opportunity. This was sent in by Daniel and as you can see, he's done a compare price method on the PlayStation on, I'm assuming, the Prime Icon Moment Sniping Filter. Um, of course, if you do go to the Quality tab, this is now an option, so you can trade specifically with these cards. And whilst he was comparing price, the chance to get a 92 rated Prime Icon Moment SIE for only 90,000 coins did appear. Unfortunately, he done the mechanics correct, but due to competition, he wasn't able to successfully get this card. So during this clip as well, Daniel does in fact compare the price of the card, and I do believe he's around 780,000 coins at the time of recording. I've gone ahead and checked on Footbin. On the PlayStation console, he's still in excess of 700k. So it would have been an insane snipe getting this card at 90,000. What I probably believe has happened here is somebody has tried to list it for 900k, accidentally missed off a digit, and as a result, put the card onto the market for almost min price. Because if you actually check um, on his price range, he can be listed at 67,000 coins. This is not a min price opportunity. It basically is, but it's not like somebody's accidentally listed the card for the lowest margin that he can go onto the market for. So that makes me think potentially somebody's tried to list this item at 900k. And unfortunately, um, given someone an insane trade on the PlayStation console, accidentally listing the card at 90,000 coins. It is a shame that Daniel wasn't able to take advantage of it, but I do appreciate you sending this into feature in today's video. Thank you for the gameplay content. Right then lads, moving on to this next sniping opportunity, we've again got video footage sent in from Adam. He's doing the compare price method on the Xbox console for what looks to be min price icons. And whilst refreshing the market, he gets himself a base caca for 66,000 coins, which of course is going to be um, the min price range for this card. Now, what's interesting about this clip is the fact that he successfully did get this trade, even though it'd been on the market for like five seconds. So because the price of icons is so cheap right now, um, specifically on Xbox where there's less players, you can actually get some really good min price icon trades because um, there are no bots on the filter due to the price of some of them like being so low just in general that um, it's not going to be worth people botting this filter anymore. So you can get mental sniping opportunities like this on the console and as a result, some crazy content. Um, this one is just a prime example of that for a card that sells for around 200,000 coins. As you can see, um, through the video content, Adam actually does compare the price of Kaka when he successfully got this card and he was able to make like 150,000 coins from this snipe. So really good trade and of course, perfect gameplay content for us to check out as well and react to in this video. Right then guys, again, going back to some more Prime Icon Moments trading. This one is sent in by Ministry. He is doing the compare price method on the specific quality tab, which only shows Prime Icon Moments cards. And this again is kind of crazy because the item had been up for so long that he compared price, realized that it actually wasn't worth 160k. Of course it wasn't. It's a 94 rated Baggio. And um, Ministry was able to see that the item was currently around 625k on the Xbox. And he was able to do all of this back out, do the mechanics to snipe the item and still successfully get it. So I'm absolutely mind blown how this has happened, but he's been able to take advantage of an insane sniping opportunity. Yeah, his min price on the Xbox console is 61k. So I don't even understand why it was listed at this value. And like uh, everything about this clip just blows my mind. 
the sniping opportunity, um, the price that it's being listed up, like the mechanics, the fact that Ministry compared price and was still able to get the item. I guarantee, right, if this was me doing this on stream, that card would have insta-sold. But um, nonetheless, Ministry was able to take advantage and get himself a pretty mental prime icon moment snipe. I've been doing a little bit of moments trading as well myself, guys, so keep your eyes peeled on the channel for a video um, that does consist of sniping opportunities that I get with these items. But so far... I've not been able to get one anywhere near as good as this. This is actually an insane trade on one of these new icons. Right then, guys, for this next clip, we've actually got a returning guest. That is Adam West. He's been submitting loads of icon sniping content recently to feature in these videos. And this one, again, is insane. It is 90 rated Cantonar on the Xbox for 102,000 coins. Now, he's doing the compare price method, but... As you can see, um, it's like open bid sniping, which is the one that I've got the tutorial for on my channel. And he does see this card, like, listed up at the correct time. And mechanics are pretty solid as well, especially considering he's doing the compare price method. And it can take a little bit of time to register whether it's actually going to be a, a trade that you want to buy or not. And um, this one, obviously, at 102k is an item that you would want to snipe. Um, Adam tries to get it, but unfortunately misses out. Now, I, I think this might have been a coin transfer, it's hard to tell, but um, for a card that is like a meta item on FIFA, obviously 102k is a ridiculous price for this item. So of course as well, it is the mid which has been out of packs for a very long time. Um, if we check on the Xbox, which is the console that Adam was sniping on, he's around 350k, so it would have been really nice profit after tax. And like I mentioned, the fact that it's listed up at 102k makes me think that it is a coin transfer. Um, somebody is like trying to shift coins from one account to another because it's a really like ambiguous price to list this item on the market for. Um, especially if it's open bid as well at 67500 because um, you would assume that they would either list it at the like generic price of the card or it would be a min price sniping opportunity considering um, the start price like I mentioned was open bid nonetheless though um adam wasn't able to capitalize but i think it's probably because he was trying to snipe against the bot and we all know how that works out yeah i, I don't even it gives me ptsd thinking about sniping opportunities that i've missed the bots this year on fifa 22 but uh nonetheless some really nice sniping content for us to feature in community sniping reactions Right then, lads, this next trade, again, is just going to blow your mind. Um, I think it's done the rounds on TikTok. Riley said the upload, then it got like a couple hundred thousand views. So it might be a clip that you've already seen. This is actually one of my uh, viewers on Twitch. He sees a prime Ronaldinho for 300,000 coins, okay? The item had been on the market for 15 seconds as well, and he's able to capitalize on this trade. Um, he's like on the 20th page or something of icons, so I think he's just scrolling through and checking items that are listed that you know around the one hour mark and then uh refreshing the market and going back to the 20th page to see if any new sniping opportunities appeared not many people are going to be doing this method of trading and that obviously worked out in riley's favor now this is a really interesting sniping opportunity because i've checked the price of prime ronaldinho on footbin and between all three consoles if you count the pc as a console um, he's around like 2.3 to 2.5 million coins. Also, the min price on the Xbox, which is the console that this snipe did occur on, um, is 238k. So it is listed on open bid, which is the, the minimum price. But of course, we can see um, the buy it now it is altered, right? It's not a min price trade, otherwise it would have been 239,000 coins for it buy it now. So, did somebody try and do this just on open bid with a 3 mil list and then accidentally missed off a digit and therefore listed the card at 300,000 coins? I think that might be the story behind this sniping opportunity. Um, nonetheless though, I don't even think Riley cares about that. Because he's been able to pocket himself one of the best trades that I've seen on FIFA 22 Ultimate Team. Not often you do see um, one of these prime icons so cheap. Never mind it being one of the best cards on the game that is 94 rated Ronaldinho. Right then lads, in this next clip, it is again the chance to get a insane trade for Prime Icon. This is 94 rated Yashin, of course, um, the variant where he is wearing his infamous cap. And um, Matty sees this opportunity, right, for 97,500 coins. So it's a card that's currently worth around 
375k on the Xbox and closer to 400,000 coins on the PlayStation. As you can see, this is actually done um, on the latter of those two consoles. And as a result of that, it probably means that there was about 50 people trying to snipe this opportunity as soon as it went on the market. And unfortunately, I've watched the clip back. Matty does load in fairly late. Um, actually trying to perform mechanics after the card had been on the market for like over five seconds. I believe he's just cycling through, checking out any deals because it is on the 10th page of icons. And of course, this would have been a very nice one to take advantage of. Nonetheless, because it had been listed for a decent amount of time, and of course, it was such an insane sniping opportunity, Matty was not able to capitalize and did miss out on this trade. Anyway though, he provided us with some really nice content, so thank you for clipping it and sending it over to feature in today's video. Right then lads, to wrap things up, we have got an unbelievable trade. Um, probably for the video purposes, I'm just going to show you guys the um, screenshot taken from the companion app on the mobile, but if you actually check the link in the description down below, you'll see on the tweet, um, he did successfully get this snipe on the console, it's just the photo that he sent to me wasn't great quality and it was like actually a picture of his screen rather than like a screenshot from the console but this I, I, I remember right this happened whilst I was live streaming and Ethan genuinely got this card on the day that these items were released one thing as well that makes me think that this was not listed for potentially 1.4 million coins and somebody actually missed the digits is the fact that like I've already said this trade was on the day that these cards dropped and um, we checked them up, like we checked the price of the item and stuff, and it was like three million coins. So um, if somebody was listing it for one point four, then they were selling themselves short anyway. I mean, I guess they've completely scuffed it up, haven't they? Because they've ended up listing it on the market for one hundred and forty thousand. So regardless of what happened to whoever listed this, if they were going for one point four mil, that would have been a massive undercut at the time. But anyway, they done 140k, and Ethan was able to get himself a ridiculous snipe. If I look at the current market value of this card, it's like a million coins as well, so really was crazy. Especially with it being on the day that these cards were put into packs. Anyway though guys, I feel like the content in today's video was a pretty high tier for one of these community sniping reactions videos. Like, we had a bunch of min price trades. Prime Icons, uh, Prime Icon Moments items as well, the new Foot Hero Captain cards, like wide variety of different quality of items and um, also like some ridiculous profit margins if people did go on to flip the cards that they snipe. Um, so hopefully you guys have enjoyed it as content. Obviously a great way of showing that you did is by dropping a like and if we can hit 500 ratings that would be greatly appreciated. Anyway though, as I mentioned, if you guys want to check out um, any of the original posts, there will be links in the description down below. If you want to get involved in future videos as well, my socials will also be linked in the description. Send me an image or a video of your best trade or miss on Ultimate Team to potentially feature in a future video. Anyway though boys, hopefully you enjoyed this episode of Community Sniping Reactions and I'll see you next time.